and Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season. Good evening, people of God. Welcome again to Stepping on the High Waters. We want to give God thanks for this season that we are in. We want to give him thanks for what he is doing. And we want to give him thanks for your life and my life. In the name of Jesus. My name is Minister Patricia Venus Henry. And I am your host this evening. Just coming to you from the Lord with thanksgiving. Great thanksgiving. And before I go on, let us pray. Father, we give you praise, we give you thanks, you are good, and your mercies endure it forever. We thank you for your people, O oh God, your people who have been faithfully seeking out your face, faithfully listening out to your word, faithfully reading your word, and faithfully listening out for what, is, what are your next instructions. So Father, we thank you that they are blessed people, and we know after this season, of COVID after this trying season, oh God, your people would be in a better place, a better place of understanding who you are, a better place of understanding whose they are, a better place of understanding where they are going in the precious name of Jesus. So Father, we give you praise and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I also want to give God praise and thanks for TIN, for Brother McClure and his team, Brother Sean, Sister Marsha, for holding down the fort to make us being able to send out the good news to God's people far and wide. So we say thank you, Jesus, for them. We declare that they will remain strong and healthy. We declare that they will not give up this work. And I want to declare this evening and join force with you and others that many benefactors will come into the life of TIN, that they will be able to remain on air. So we give God praise and thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So you know, we are two weeks since we got our International Women's Conference and uh, we just want to give God thanks this evening. We just want to give God thanks for what he has done to his people. We want to thank God that lives were touched, lives were saved. We want to thank God that there was a shift in Yes, it was Divine Destiny Worship Center International Women's Conference. Yes, men were invited. And I love how some of our men got interested in this women in crisis because they also know what is happening around the world and around them in their homes and 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 how they were dealing with these incidents how they were dealing with this interest matter things that you could not have um things that you could not have dealt with by yourself but you needed help you needed the Holy Spirit. You needed God to send some people to show you how to navigate your way. Amen. How to eradicate your fears. How to go forth and do great exploits. Some people, as they are trapped in their minds, trapped in situations. And God sent help to Divine Destiny Worship Center. So let's just give the Lord... A note of praise for this virtual women's conference. It was birthed out of one of our pastors in Antigua, Pastor Dawn Robertson, who um, she heard on Mother's Day, Apostle Gemma 
preached on women in crisis and she took characters from the Bible, Ruth and so forth and she explained it. She went into depth and she crafted a situation. So back then help came and she's saying help is here now. Let us receive our help. Those of us who are in crisis or people that we knew are in crisis Help is here. We have the help of the Father and people working on behalf of God to assist in these situations. And yes, a core team of us from different Caribbean islands, Antigua, Barbados, St. Vincent, Jamaica, USA, Canada. Listen to me. We had a core group of people just were putting ourselves into this conference because we all felt the need to have this virtual conference, Women in Crisis. Also, um, there are persons who, whose lives were touched in such a magnificent way that people were giving their testimonies. So right now, I just want to read Psalms 47. And Psalms 47 says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord God Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us. His Excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, Selah. God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. Hallelujah. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. Hallelujah. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. Hallelujah. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of God of Abraham. The people of the God of Abraham. Even the people of the God of Abraham. Again, even the people of the God of Abraham, for the shields of the earth belongeth unto God. He is greatly exalted. Amen. So you see, God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Hallelujah. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. So sing praises. He sing he praises with understanding. And I knew um, many of our persons are still rejoicing in the Lord. Many call and they express their thanks. Many um, got closer to the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me, many said that they, they felt as though life was snuffing out from under them. Many expressed that um, they didn't feel like going on anymore because of what was happening. They weren't seeing any changes. Day by day, they are just praying and asking God, God, what next? God, did I do some, anything wrong? God, what have I done? Forgive me. Some people ask for forgiveness because they could not understand this time where they are just going through. This happening, that happening. Um, so many people are hungry. So many people lost their jobs. So many people because of monetary financial situation, they are separated. Some could not pay their rent. They went back home to their parents' houses. Listen to me. Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. For he is our God. We are the sheep. 
listen to me. Yes, I may not understand heavily what you are experiencing, but God knows. God understands. He is there watching over us. One sister said, I could not make it. I could not make it. I did not know how to go on. Things were just coming after us. Came, things were just coming after me. And she said, I cried out to the Lord. I cried out to the Lord. She said, and when I heard about this conference, I said to myself, there is hope. Yes. So this is a good time, a good point here to sing praises unto God. Sing praises unto the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Listen to me. Yes, I know that there are still depths of pain down inside your heart. But hear this. God started a work. He started the work. And you should continue. You gain enough strength to go forward. You gain enough strength to say, Jesus, I thank you. I give you praise. I thank you. I thank you for this conference. Women in crisis. It touched what I was going through. Give him praise. Every area that was touched and you received it give him praise listen our sister our friend Ruth could have said to her mother-in-law I'm going back home like her other sister-in-law she could have said you see me this is too much what is happening here? It is too much. I don't think that I can carry on anymore. I may as well be dead. Or let me go back to my country and face whatever it is that is taking place there. But guess what? Ruth decided. Read over the book of Ruth again. Ruth decided, hear what? I refuse to go back into that situation. I refuse to go back and be embarrassed. Go back and look as though I'm a headless chicken. I, I refuse. So I am going to stay with you, Naomi. Where you go, I am going. Your God is my God. Your people will be my people. If you praising God, I'm praising God with you too. You, if you are just drinking soup alone, I am drinking that with you too. Amen? And Ruth made a conscious decision. Do you know that Ruth was intentional? Ruth was very intentional. And Ruth remained like that. And her words were present continuous. She was not sliding. She was not backsliding. Wherever Ruth went, Naomi is there coaching her, giving her instructions, letting her know, listen, as bad as it is, we will figure it out. We will figure it out. How many of us heard our grandparents our parents say those things. How many of us remember? Because I know at this time, many of us, we discard a lot of the things from old times and we say, oh, that was that time. This is a new time now. Um, those fable days. No, if you look really, really well, you will see some of the same very things that happened then is happening now. Back then, our grandparents and they, they, they had little to eat. They had provisions. They had peas. They had corn. They used to plant their tomatoes. They used to plant their beans. They used to plant up the place. 
They had acres of, of, of land. They used to plant from top to bottom, left to right. And each person in, around the area was having a handful of peas, handful of corn, handful of potato, handful of dashing, whatever, Tanya, Edo's, whatever. So now we are in our crisis. We cannot cope, but they used to cope. I don't know how they had coping mechanism, but their minds were not going tick-tock, tick-tock like ours. They used to keep focused. They used to keep steady. They keep their heart and their mind in one place. And they used to say, so what we go do? All we have is lime juice and some potato, sweet potato. They boil their sweet potato and we used to say lime squash or lime swag. And we drank and we ate and we were merry. So I am saying to you, I am not talking as though I have arrived. I am in here to encourage you to keep on standing. Keep on holding on. Keep on. You may think that you alone are in crisis. No sister, no brother, no tante, no granny. There are so many of us that are in crisis. But our hope is in Jesus. Our hope is in the Lord. Verse 7 of Psalms 47 says, For God is the king of all the earth. He is the king. Rain is falling on us. Rain is falling on us. So we have plenty rain to plant. Plenty rain to water whatever we planted. Yes, some of us may be experiencing flood issues. Some of us may be experiencing overloaded with water issues in our gardens. But guess what? Some of us, our plants are growing. Our plants are flourishing that we will be able to give to someone whose crop failed where water washed away our crops, water soak our crops. So God is the king over all the earth. So we need to sing praises, give him praise, sing praises with understanding. And I declare and I decree unto you right now that you shall receive understanding from the heaven. You shall receive understanding from the Lord. You shall receive understanding from the Father. And we thank God for the Holy Spirit. When we call upon the Holy Spirit, He is there to meet our needs. Amen? Verse 8 says, God reigneth over the heathen. God sit, sitteth upon the throne of His holiness. The prince of the people are gathered together. Even the people of God, of Abraham, for the shield of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted. He is what? He is greatly exalted no matter what. No matter what you see. No matter what is happening. God is greatly exalted in this time. For the shields of the earth belongeth unto our God. Is not some God, and some don't know their God, is our God. He is our God. Amen. For the shield of the earth, again, belongeth unto God. For he is greatly exalted. Let's exalt the Lord on high. Let's sing praises unto our King. Sing praises unto our Father. He is our God and He is protecting us in this time. Yes, it may look as though we are uh, not covered by Him, but He's looking over us. He's watching over us. Just ask the Lord 
to send help in your direction. Ask him and he will send help. Verse 5 says, God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the song of a trumpet. Hey, hey. We're giving him praise and we're giving him thanks. He has gone up. He has gone up with a shout. That shout is for you and I. That shout is to tell you that he is watching over us. That shout is telling us that God still sits up on the throne. He is on high looking at us, watching over us, preparing for us, asking somebody to fix a basket for you, asking somebody to bring some water for you, asking somebody to come and pay a bill for you, asking somebody to come and have a sat with you and talk with you help you to go through yes i know some of us we are private hey god wants to help us we cannot afford to be so private in this time that god cannot uh, get some shouts of praises from us listen to me he is gone up with a shout he is shouting on our behalf amen he sung in that trumpet on our behalf. Listen to the sound of the trumpet. Listen clearly, clearly, sorry. Listen now to hear him. That song probably coming straight by your house. It is coming straight by your house. So listen out for the sound. You heard someone calling Stella, Sheila, Dora, Paula, John, James. A knock on the door, a phone call. Yes, people in crisis. Just continue to give him thanks. Continue to give him praise. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. Yes, um, also some, some of us are asking, will there be another as the Lord leads? You know, um, Apostle Gemma, we don't do anything just because people are asking. Go before the Lord, and whenever the Lord is ready, he is going to do another Women in Crisis conference. But in the meantime, you go back on our, web, on our website. Go back on DDWC page and pull up the conference you need prayer. The numbers are all there. It does not matter where you are. Just call the numbers and people will pray with you. People are still calling for prayers. Just go back up on Facebook, DW, Divine Destiny Worship Center page. And you will just see all the different numbers and just call someone. Just call someone. Let them know what you are facing. Let them know what you are going through. Let them know what you need. And they will stand in the gap with you. They will stand in the gap with you. But I am still saying to you, God is good. God is worthy to be praised. Continue to give him that praise. Continue to give him thanks. I hope you were one of those persons that are writing down so you can go over your notes. Go over your notes. Ask the Lord to show you, to give you revelation. Amen. Don't give up. Do not give up. Do not give up. Amen. For he is greatly to be praised. He is greatly to be praised. So I am... Asking you again, joining force with you, if you need to hear more of the conference, sorry, if you need to, to get information that you missed, go on DDWC Divine Destiny Worship Center page and listen over. Those of you who missed it, you forgot, you just go up on DDWC page and you can, or you can call me 
You can call me. My number is on the, on the screen. 7813467. 7813467. If you need to talk, you can also send a WhatsApp message to 633-3780. You cannot call. That number is WhatsApp. So you just have to send your prayer request. Send whatever it is that is um, engaging you at this point in time that you cannot cope with and someone is there waiting to pray with you to answer your request amen so you be great you be blessed remember the lord is still on your side he is there guiding you he is there set waiting to make provisions for you so let us pray at this time. Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks. You are worthy, O oh God. We just want to thank you for a people, a people with a passion for you, O oh God, a people with a passion to learn more of you, to gain much strength from you, revelation from you, O oh Father. Father, we stand in proxy with your people and we declare and we decree that your people people we are coming out of this crisis we are coming out of this crisis we are coming out of this crisis janet you are coming out of this crisis jane you are coming out of this crisis peter you are coming out of this crisis john you are coming out of this crisis and say to someone else you are coming out we are coming out of this crisis in the precious name of jesus God, you did it for us once before. You did it for some of us over and over. And you're going to do it again in the name of Jesus. We say bless the name of the Lord. Lord, those who cannot call out. We send the Holy Spirit right now. We declare your glory in their house. We declare favor in their house. We declare your people will triumph in this season in the name of Jesus. We declare that they shall not give up in this time as their breakthrough is about to come in the name of Jesus we declare that they will continue to clap their hands they will continue to shout unto you father for Lord you gone up you went up and you making songs you sung in the trumpet on behalf of your people father your people are awaiting confirmations in many areas and we declare that confirmation is already there we declare that the people of god will just continue to give praise they will continue to give thanks they will continue to rejoice they will continue to triumph lord those who have not been dancing for a while will continue to dance in the name of jesus and we declare that this is their season for breakthrough in the name of jesus so we say glory to god in the highest stay blessed stay strong for the lord is watching over his people bye see you next week bless amen I'm Minister Patricia Venus Henry. Join me every Sunday right here on the Tobago Inspirational Network at 9.30 p.m. for Stepping on the High Waters. Stay tuned because God is turning things around for us in this season.